Question 14 then, the last question in the 2022 Higher Maths Paper 1, six marks altogether here. Circles, there's the equation of a circle in the nice easy form where you can see the centre and see the radius. So what does it say? C1 is the circle, state the centre and radius, straight away, two marks, look, nothing. Hence or otherwise, show that this point, P negative 2, 7, lies outside it. That's four marks. Well, the first part, part one of A. What's the centre? We just read them straight off of here. It's whatever it takes to make the bracket zero. So that means it's going to be 7 and a negative 5. What's the radius? Well, that's the radius squared. You can find the formulas at the front. So if the radius squared is 100, the radius is the square root of 100. So that means the radius is 10. There's two marks. Now, the second part said, show that this point lies outside the circle. Well, there's two ways you could do that. You could either find the distance from C to P, and if it's more than 10, it's outside, or you could feed that into the equation, and if it comes to 100, it's on it, and if it comes to more than 100, it's outside, if it comes to less than 100, it's inside. But essentially the same calculation, though. Maybe a bit more writing with the distance. I'll do the distance one first. So, what's the distance from C to P? Well, you're just going to use Pythagoras to get the distance, aren't you? Because you've got C and you've got P, whatever their orientation happens to be. So to find that distance, you just want the difference in the X's, the difference in the Y's. But you knew that. So, difference in the X's. So, from C to P. So, negative 2, take away 7, squared, and the difference in the Y's. 7, take away negative 5, squared. So that's, that's a 9, and that's a 12, so that's 144. So that gives you 225, which means that CP is going to be 15. Now, that would get a mark. 15 is more than 10, but you have to make a statement now. 15 is more than 10, which means CP is greater than the radius, which means P lies outside. You could say the circle, but it's got a name outside C1. Now the other way is just to test this point in the equation. If those coordinates give an answer of 100, it P's on the circle. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it's more than 100, it's outside. If it's less than 100, it's inside. So the other way would just be feed that in. So X is negative 2. Take away 7. Y is 7. I do on 5. Oops. But I'm not going to write equals 100 because I don't know. No, it's just the same calculation. So we'll have to see what it comes to. Well, that's a 9 again. Well, it's a negative 9, but it doesn't matter when you square it, so it's 81. That's a 12, so it's 144. So that comes to 225. Now, the difference this way is, because that's obviously the same calculation, the difference this time is I just need to compare that to the 100. Now, it's obviously not 100, so it's not in the circle. 225 is greater than 100 which means that P, same as before, lies outside of the circle. So the marks would be here. Getting the 225 would be the first mark, and then making the statement would be the second mark. Now, part B. Determine the values of R for which circle C1 and C2. Well, C2 is the circle that's centred on P with a radius, an unknown radius of R this time. Maybe I'll call that R1 there. So you're trying to figure out what's the radius of this other little circle. If they've got exactly one point of intersection, so they're tangent circles. Well, putting them in roughly, if that's the centre of C1, that's at 7, negative 5. Now, negative 2, 7 means it's further back and further up, so it's somewhere up here somewhere. So, so that was circle 1, that's circle 2. So that's it, just touching this one. Now, there's some distances, I know, because that's the centre of the first circle, that's the centre of the second one, and you know that this distance here, whoops, is 15. Not only that, you know that that distance is 15 and this part is 10. Well, it doesn't take much to figure out that that part must be 5. How would you set that out? Well, you could say that one possible value of R would be the 15, which is the distance between them, minus the 10, in which case R is 5. So what's the other case? Because there it is, touching. 
that it could also touch, if this circle, because all you know is center, if that was to expand and then grow outwards, it would then envelop the first circle, envelop it to touch it way over here now. So this would be the radius of this larger circle. So the alternative to that would be either it equals five or R would be, now what's that distance this time? Well, that distance is still the 15. This is still the 10 of that circle. So this time it's going to be 15 plus the 10. So it's going to be 25. So those are the two marks. Maybe I should have indicated that that distance there would known to be 15.